Hello everyone, I'm Samuel Bequist, Brand Evangelist. In this episode, we'll be talking about the most basic yet important repricing method, the rule-based rules. This is our most affordable tool at BeQuil, and believe it or not, some of our six, seven-figure sellers are only using rule-based rules. Let's dive into the rule-based rule setup and see how this can boost your business. First, what is rule-based rule? Rule-based rule repricing allows sellers to have full control in the price change of your listings. This requires the sellers to manually set up the rules based on the scenarios of the factors which you want your listings to be repriced against your competitors. You can set your min and max price by percentage or dollar amount. BQL has six rule-based preset rules. Next, I will tell you which of the preset settings will be the most suitable for your situation. To get started, click on repricing rules and then add new rule. Then click on rule base and you will see that there are five preset and one custom rule in the rule base tab. These are the default settings that you can select from. Once you've selected the rule that you want to apply, you can further adjust the settings if you wish. We recommend you to use the default settings until you have more experience selling on Amazon. Number one, match buy box. When you're not able to get the buy box, the repricer matches the price of the buy box owner to avoid intense price competition. It is suggested for sellers with a high number of positive feedback and ratings. On the other hand, when you get the buy box, there is no price change. This match buy box rule is suitable for products that are in high demand with less competition and possibly rising bestseller rank and increase in prices. The price is consistent for these products. These are the products that generate the most profits for your business and by matching the buy box will ensure your profit will not be compromised. Number two, undercut the buy box price oscillate. When you're not able to get the buy box, this option will only compete with the buy box owner and goes to a lower price to increase the chances of getting the buy box. However, if the price of a buy box owner equals or is lower than your min price, your price will be adjusted to your max price by the system to prevent losing profits. On the other hand, when buy box owners raise their prices above your min price, your price will go to the lower price to increase the chances of getting the buy box. This rule will prevent the price from racing to the bottom if you have products that need to keep at a certain profit margin and you want to stay away from your min price then this rule will help you get the buy box by shifting between your set min and max prices. Number three, undercut the buy box price. When you're not able to get the buy box, it will only compete with the buy box owner and goes to a lower price to increase the chances of getting the buy box. When you get the buy box, the price will be raised to increase your profit. This rule is ideal for replenishable products with staple pricing and offer counts. It is more aggressive compared to the previous two rules, yet it effectively balances sales and profits. Number four, target the lowest price. When you're not able to get the buy box to remain at the lowest price among competitors, the system only competes with the lowest price sellers. When you get the buy box, it makes sure your price is the lowest among all the competitors. If it does, it will try to increase the price by the system to increase your profits. With this rule, the repricer will make sure that your price remains competitive. It is a rather aggressive rule that is suitable for overstock, out-of-season products in lower demand or products that have intense competition or when Amazon is selling on the same listings. Basically, the purpose is to speed up the sales velocity by dropping the prices in order to get the buy box. Number five, it targets the lowest FBA price. When you're not able to get the buy box, It'll only compete with the lowest price FBA sellers, except FBM sellers, to remain at the lowest price among FBA competitors. When you get the buy box, the price will be raised to increase your profit. This rule is specifically for competing with FBA sellers. Since the rule excludes the FBM sellers, typically with lower prices, you will get more profit competing with sellers that offer the same fulfillment type. You can use this rule for products that are either best sellers or replenishable items, products that are not in low demand or in a rush to sell. That is also useful for listings that does not have a buy box at the moment where the buy box is suppressed. Number six, custom rule. In this option, you can specify your competitors and the repricing settings to your needs. We recommend you to use the default settings first until you know exactly what or whom you're targeting. 
Next, we'll select whom you want to compete against. You can choose to compete against the lowest price or the buy box price. There are five types of competitors you can choose to tick or untick. Amazon, FBA, FBM, non-featured FBA, and non-featured FBM sellers. Under custom settings, you can set SFP, known as Seller Fulfillment Prime, offers as FBA or FBM, and set competitors' SFP offers as FBA or FBM. You could also toggle on or off for the following settings. You could exclude or include sellers by seller ID. You could exclude or include sellers with free shipping. You could exclude or exclude sellers with expedited shipping. You could exclude sellers' positive feedback ratings lower than a certain percentage. You could also exclude sellers with a total feedback count lower than X amount. And you could exclude sellers with backordered products and sellers with handly days more than X number of days. You can set the item condition you would like to compete against, such as the same, better, used, or collectible, which is only available for used products. Next, in the Get Buy Box, we can set all kinds of conditions that will help your listings to get the buy box. When the buy box is found between the min and max price, you could choose the following conditions. When the buy box winner is either above the min price, it's below the min price, or equal to the min price, you could choose different options and you can choose how to compete against your competitor. When the buy box winners are found outside of the min and the max prices, you could set different conditions. When the buy box winners are found above the max price, below the min price, and below the min price and above the max price. The next section you can pick when the buy box winner is not found. The settings that you have are do not reprice. You can also set to your min or max price, a fixed price, or your price will be applied. Next, when the competition is not found, when you're the only seller or the buy box winners are excluded by your settings, the settings use max price, do not reprice, or customize your price will be applied. Next, we have the price change safety net where you can set the limit of your price changes and adjust your prices accordingly. Last, we have the min price protection settings. This rule applies when the rules in the buy box winner found are between the min and the max. Including the safety net will adjust your price to equal or be lower than the min price. Your price will instead automatically readjust according to the following settings. For all other scenarios under get buy box, the system will readjust the price to min price when adjusted price is lower than the min price. In addition, we have the advanced settings where you can select how you want to compete in your competition. Please note that if you have turned on the advanced settings, they will be applied first and any configurations in the get buy box settings will be overridden. So typically when you have FBA versus Amazon, like you're probably going to have to need to beat Amazon by around three cents uh, or maybe even 10%. So that's some setting that you can do against other FBA offers. You might you know, minus a cent penny, or you might be the same as other FBA seller. Typically when it's FBA versus FBM, we'd recommend you to go 10 cents higher in order to be more profitable when you are competing against FBM sellers. And then if you're FBM competing against FBA, you're probably going to have to go lower price, probably by 10 cents in order for you to get that. FBA offer. Of course, this depends on how much the product costs. I'm talking about a product that's between $25 to $40. Next, in the stay in the buy box section is where you will try to maximize your time in the buy box. For buy box settings, the drop down menu offers four options. Lower or raise my buy box price. Raise my buy box price to maximize profit. Lower my buy box price to stay competitive and do not change my buy box price. When lower or raising my buy box price is chosen, when the competitor's price is below your price, your price will compete with it to make sure your price is the lowest among the competitors. And when your price is the lowest price among all the competitors, it will still be raised to compete with other sellers, but it remains the lowest among all the competitors. If you choose raise my buy box price to maximize profit, this means regardless of whether your price is the lowest or not, your listings will compete with other sellers whose price is above yours, aiming to maximize profits. The third option is to lower my buy box price to stay competitive, and this will allow you to compete with the competitor who has the lowest price to make sure your price remains the lowest and you're able to hold the buy box 
even longer. However, if your price is the lowest, the listings will not be repriced. And the last option, do not change my buy box price, means when you win the buy box, there will be no repricing until you lose it. Next, we have the price change safety net. The safety net will only be triggered when the target competitor's price makes your price drop more than the percentage that you set under when adjusted price is lower than your price by X percentage. In such instances, you'll be able to limit the adjusted price each time to your price minus Y percentage. This allows you to control and restrict the extent of price adjustments triggered by competitors within the safety net. You can find this feature under both get buy box and stay in the buy box sections. Click next where you can set the schedule. It's optional to set a repricing schedule and you have the flexibility to choose between repeated schedule or fixed date schedule. For example, toggle on for repeated schedule. First, you could choose the hours, the time and the time zones your listing will pause its repricing activity. Below, you can reset your price after pause repricing equals to your price, max price and min price. Next, you can set the time to enable repricing and check the boxes of the days that you want to apply the schedule. For a fixed day schedule, the difference is that there is a calendar icon where you can pick a date for the schedule to take place. Once you're done, hit next. Finally, it's the rule overview where you can check all the settings that you've selected and make edits. Once you click on save and finish, you are done. Now that we've walked through the details of the rule-based settings, you can see that the settings could be very powerful if you're willing to make the initial setup. Here are the pros and cons of rule-based rule. So for the pros, it allows sellers to have full control of the price changes according to each individual scenario. The Bequal repricer can reprice up, and like Amazon repricer, which keeps lowering your prices, it also allows more flexibility to reprice for higher profit or more sales. For rule bases, the most affordable plan on the market. The cons, the setup process could be time consuming, requiring careful attention to ensure that there's no conflicts between each rule. No one size fits all. Different product categories yield different product margins, thus require different repricing strategies. The preset rules may also be restricted. The market is constantly changing, so the rules apply need to be monitored closely. In conclusion, while the rule-based rule offers unbeatable pricing advantage, the default options allows beginner sellers to set it and forget it. For advanced sellers, it's also possible to tweak your settings according to your profit or sales goal. So who is the rule-based repricing rule for? It's for beginner sellers who just want to test the power of using a repricer. It's for sellers with a limited budget for tools, but needs a repricer. It's for sellers that understand how to reprice their listings, sellers who wanna avoid competing against specific sellers. All right, I hope that gives a good overview of the different rule-based rules that you can pick. For more information or questions, please contact support at bequal.com or visit our support site. And lastly, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube and podcast for more updates and useful content. We're Bequal. We keep innovating to help you stay cool with your Amazon business.